So looking at the composition of some everyday fats and oils, this on the x-axis is the breakdown of saturated, which is in blue, monounsaturated, that's the one double bond, and the linoleic acid and linolenic acid, that's in red and green, and those are the polyunsaturated fatty acids. So these unsaturated fats, monounsaturated, linoleic, and linolenic are considered your healthy fats compared to saturated fatty acids, that's in blue, those are considered your unhealthy fats. And if you're thinking, well, what fats should I be eating to get healthy fats? And which one should I avoid? So avoiding the saturated fats. So on the y-axis, you can see towards the top, these tend to be plant-based origins, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. So safflower, canola, flax seed, sunflower, corn oil, olive oil. Down at the bottom, these tend to be the animal origin. So chicken, lard, beef, tallow, butter that comes from cows as well. Um, but one notable is down here at the very bottom is coconut oil. So coconut oil, that's solid at room temperature. These are the animal origin, and these have a high amount of saturated fat. So which has the highest amount of saturated fat? This coconut oil. So this is compared to safflower oil at the top, which has the lowest amount of saturated fat. Um, and safflower oil at the top has the highest amount of these unsaturated fats, the monounsaturated fat, and the linoleic and linolenic acid. So safflower oil would be considered a healthy uh, option if you're comparing using safflower oil to coconut oil. Um, olive oil right here is something that is low in saturated fats but high in this monounsaturated fat. Remember I pointed out that oleic acid, that monounsaturated fat, has the bent shape which leads to this being a liquid at room temperature. There's also some linoleic and linolenic acid. But if you're thinking what food should I eat to get those essential fats, the linoleic and linolenic acid, well that's this flaxseed oil has this high amount of red and green, that's the linoleic and linolenic acid, and that flaxseed oil also has a, a low amount of saturated fat. So flaxseed in general is promoted as a healthy, you know, healthy food, put it in your cereal, use the flaxseed oil. This is due to having these essential fats, the linoleic and linolenic acid. Um, just as a regular oil to use though, sunflower oil is a great option. It has a lot of linoleic and linolenic acid as well as the monounsaturated fat and low in saturated fat. So the reason why different oils are used in cooking though is has also to do with the properties that it allows for cooking food, the adding flavor or in otherwise not adding, adding too much flavor um, or adding a crispiness or a certain mouthfeel. And so this is an example of butter versus coconut oil. So coconut oil and butter are used in baking commonly and um, coconut oil in particular because it's a plant origin to replace the animal origin butter in baking. So as far as healthy it has a lot of saturated fat so if you're trying to lower your saturated fat this is not the way to go. Coconut oil is considered unhealthy as far as saturated fat. In baking, the coconut oil, though unhealthy, allows for a certain crispiness that is similar to butter, which if you've ever tried to make olive oil cookies, is just not the same. Plus, olive oil lends a certain flavor, whereas butter and coconut oil are less flavored. So, as I mentioned, there's a reason to choose different oils, but if you're just looking at it from a health perspective, you're going to want to to be looking for higher amounts of the healthy fats, linoleic, linolenic acid, as well as any monounsaturated fat. In general, when you have a saturated fat, it will have these fatty acids that have all single bonds. So these are the listing of these saturated fats, and these are all zero double bonds. Okay, so that means all single bonds, and there's a certain number of carbons between 10 and 18 and these have melting points between 32 and 70. Okay, When you have an unsaturated fat, that's one or more double bonds. So here's oleic acid with one double bond and linoleic and linolenic acid with two and three double bonds. These all compare with 18 carbons in the molecule. 
and these have lower melting points overall. So introducing one or more double bonds leads to a lower melting point, and having a lower melting point means that there's a greater likelihood that th these unsaturated fats are going to be liquid at room temperature because the room temperature is high enough to allow for it to have formed the liquid from the solid already have melted. Information provided on a nutrition facts label tell us a little bit more about the total fat in any food. So the total fat number value is something we can use to calculate the calories using nine calories per gram. But there's usually going to be a breakdown of the saturated fat and trans fat, which are the unhealthy fats. As for anyone that is supposed to be watching their amount of saturated or trans fat, those unhealthy fats. So these are your unhealthy fats, the saturated fats and the trans fats because of those molecule shapes that end up being overall straight shapes. So these are the types of foods that have higher amounts of trans and saturated fats. All of these are processed foods. They're not, none of them are in their natural state and they all have higher amounts of trans and saturated fats. In general, what's considered healthy or good fats are the fats that have the bent overall shape. That's going to come from cis, the cis double bond arrangement. So those are usually going to be your polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats. Um, the unhealthy fats in general, or the bad fats, are going to be the overall straight shape. So that's going to be the trans fats and the saturated fats.